A bodybuilder friend of mine strongly recommended incorporating heavy compound exercises like squats and deadlifts into my workouts. According to him, these exercises were essential because they significantly increased testosterone levels compared to lighter weight training or machine exercises. Surprisingly, there was truth to what he said. Research has consistently demonstrated that resistance training raises the levels of hormones such as testosterone, growth hormone, and IGF-1 in the bloodstream. Foundational studies led by Dr. Bill Kramer in the 1990s and early 2000s confirmed that training intensity using heavier weights and engaging large muscle groups via compound movements resulted in greater testosterone increases. At the time, this seemed logical. Testosterone is an anabolic hormone, meaning it supports muscle growth. It was reasonable to assume that training designed to maximize acute testosterone spikes would lead to greater muscle building potential. For years, I believed that the effectiveness of heavy compound lifts came from their ability to supercharge my testosterone. However, my understanding evolved as I dug deeper into the science. What I learned was eye-opening. The testosterone increase from such training isn't substantial enough to drive muscle growth on its own. Instead, the effectiveness of compound exercises lies in their ability to generate progressive tension overload and recruit large volumes of musculature. The hormonal boost is more of a secondary effect studies from McMaster University highlight that the temporary rise in testosterone following exercise does not correlate directly with hypertrophy. For instance, high-intensity training involving large muscle groups does increase testosterone levels, but there's no corresponding boost in muscle protein synthesis. This is because these hormonal spikes are short-lived, lasting about an hour, far too brief to have a meaningful anabolic effect on muscle growth. If you find this information helpful, please like, subscribe, and turn all notifications on to stay updated with our latest fitness tips. This revelation led me to question just how much of a testosterone increase is needed to enhance muscle growth. According to a 2024 study at Harvard University published in Men's Health Journal, low testosterone levels linked to shorter lifespan. Normal testosterone levels in healthy men are between 10 and 35 nanomoles per liter. However, testosterone levels drop as men age. The analysis showed that men who started with testosterone levels below 7.4 nanomoles per liter had a higher risk of dying during the study period compared with men who had higher levels. Men with levels below 5.3 nanomoles per liter had an increased risk of heart-related deaths, such as heart attack, cardiac arrest, heart failure, and stroke. A pivotal 1996 study explored this. It divided 40 men into four groups. One group trained naturally, another took weekly injections of 600 mg of testosterone while training, a third took testosterone without training, and the last group did neither. Predictably, the group combining testosterone and training experienced the most muscle growth, while the placebo group gained the least. Surprisingly, the group that only took testosterone gained more muscle than those who trained naturally, it's essential to note the magnitude of the hormonal increase in this study. Testosterone levels in the injected group surged from 500 nanomoles per liter to approximately 3,000 nanomoles per liter, an enormous change compared to the small, temporary spikes seen with resistance training. This stark contrast highlights that acute, training-induced testosterone increases are unlikely to drive muscle growth. Natural testosterone boosting. Does it help? While increasing low testosterone levels, for example, from 300 nanomoles per liter to an average levels of 600 nanomoles per liter might promote muscle growth, further increases within the normal range appear to have diminishing returns. For example, one study showed that raising testosterone from 306 to 570 nanomoles per liter over 20 weeks led to noticeable fat-free mass gains. However, the benefits plateaued at higher levels. Training, diet, and testosterone. Your training approach and lifestyle significantly influence testosterone levels. Overtraining, especially when combining high-volume resistance training with endurance exercises, can decrease testosterone. Research suggests that excessive training volume is more detrimental than intensity. To minimize this effect, balancing training volume and incorporating low-intensity cardio can help maintain hormonal balance. Diet is another critical factor. Contrary to popular belief, soy consumption has minimal impact on testosterone. 
Instead, body composition and caloric intake play larger roles. Studies show that severe caloric restriction, common in bodybuilding contest prep, drastically lowers testosterone levels. Maintaining a body fat percentage between 10 to 15% appears optimal for most men. Macronutrient balance also matters. Diets with moderate to high fat intake generally support testosterone better than low fat diets. Saturated fats, in particular, may have a slightly stronger effect on testosterone production. Micronutrients like zinc and vitamin D are equally important. Deficiencies in either can reduce testosterone, so ensuring adequate intake through diet or supplements is crucial. Many supplements claim to boost testosterone, but evidence is often weak. For example, ashwagandha has shown some promise in increasing testosterone in young men, but most other supplements have little to no reliable evidence. A better approach is to focus on proven strategies like proper sleep, stress management, and training consistency. What supplements works? Vitamin D. Essential for testosterone production, particularly in individuals with low baseline levels. Zinc. Useful if you're deficient, especially after prolonged intense training which depletes zinc stores. Creatine. While not a direct testosterone booster, creatine enhances performance and muscle growth, indirectly supporting hormonal health. What supplements doesn't work? Tribulus terrestris. Popular in testosterone boosting supplements, but scientific evidence shows minimal effect on hormone levels. D aspartic acid. Early studies suggested a benefit, but larger trials showed inconsistent results. Sleep quality and duration significantly affect testosterone levels. Chronic sleep deprivation can lead to substantial reductions in testosterone. For example, one study found that cutting sleep from 8 to 5 hours per night over 5 days reduced testosterone by over 10%. Stress also plays a role, as prolonged high stress levels can suppress testosterone production. Practices like meditation or relaxation techniques can mitigate this effect, but sexual activity is another factor. Research shows that testosterone increases after sexual activity, and maintaining a healthy sex life may help regulate hormone levels. However, other correlations such as single men or those in new relationships having higher testosterone are less clear and may reflect underlying personality or lifestyle traits rather than causation. While natural methods to optimize testosterone levels won't drastically enhance muscle growth on their own, combining several strategies can have a meaningful impact. Heavy compound lifts, a balanced diet, adequate rest, and a consistent training routine work synergistically to improve gym performance and physique. Ultimately, understanding how testosterone influences muscle growth allows us to make more informed decisions about training and lifestyle. Thank you for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this information helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more tips and insights on health and fitness, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.